Well, let's talk about another problem that uh, we will see on the test. This is a problem again where we have three resistors. In this case, R1 is 1K and R2 is 1.5K and R3 is 2.2K ohm. And we see that we have those three resistor values as well as a single voltage drop on R3, which is 24 volts. So I've taken some liberty here to go ahead and fill out uh, the beginning of the Verpe chart here so we know what we have and what we need to calculate. And these are my resistors. And I went ahead and I added these resistors up to come up with a total of 4.7K ohm. And I don't have any other values uh, with the exception of this 24 volts for R3. So I can calculate the value of the current on 3 by taking this 24 volts and using Ohm's law, 24 volts divided by this 2.2 K ohm. And we will come up with a voltage that is 10.9 milliamps. And if I know voltage one place, I know it every place. So that's going to be 10.9 here milliamps and 10.9 here as well as here. And the total is 10.9 milliamps. And if I go through and do Ohm's law, then I will find out that this is 10.9 volts here. And this is going to be my 16.4 volts here. And this should be a total of 53.1 or, or transpose my numbers there it should be 51.3. So let's go to the circuit that I've drawn on this page. And we can see that we have uh, the current here in the green, this is a single current going through a series circuit. I have my ground labels here. I have my 24 volts that we talked about that was given in my three resistors, the 1K, 1.5K, 2.2K. I add those three resistors up and get the 4.7K, and then the total current is 10.9 milliamps. And I uh, calculated the voltage drops accordingly. And then you can just can come over here and calculate the powers by taking uh, power is equal to voltage times current. And that current's going to be 10.9. You just store that in your calculator and multiply it by your voltage drops. And I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. These are all going to be in milliwatts. 118.8, 178.8. The R3 will be 2.61.6 milliwatts in my total power 559.2 milliwatts. And that should help you fill out the verbi chart for this particular problem. You'll see one of these on the test, so hopefully this will answer any questions that you might have.